Mint Playing Festival. I am Dominic Dondrea. Hi. <laughs> by New Jersey playwrights who either live or reside in New Jersey or have New Jersey roots. We did not tell these writers what to write about, so the themes and connections that are made are sort of directly reflecting on the voices in your community. And this is our way of saying this is what the artists in your community are thinking about responding to right now, and we're reflecting it back to you. Uh, tonight's proceeds will benefit the New Brunswick Theater Festival's educational program. <laughs> Ticket sales are getting directly back to your community as well. So thank you for being here with us and thank you for buying in. Uh, and I'd like Jen Ring to talk about what that is. Um, so basically, the New Brunswick Theater Festival for the last couple of years has sent teaching artists into New Brunswick High School um, to do uh, offer students the opportunity to work with professional artists, um, see what we do, see all of the different you know fields that there are avenues to explore in the theater. So not just acting, design, stage management, playwriting. Um, we do, we've done Shakespeare workshops. This year we're looking at expanding our program and offering more, uh, sort of a wider array of subject matter. Um, it's really exciting. And we have one of our alumni here tonight, uh, Sean Moore, who's in interning with us. I don't know where he is. that we do this festival all over the country. We're doing this festival in 10 cities this year. Uh, and sometimes the proceeds are under like a token for the community. And in this case, the money will actually be going directly to the teaching artists. So thank you for supporting them. They need it. Yeah. Uh, and without further ado, the second annual New Jersey Women. What he said. <laughs> <laughs> 
Go Devils! Go Devils! <laughs> Well enough to get a meeting? Well enough to ask for a meeting. Okay. Call him then. I, I don't think it's the right time. Why not? Because you could be busy. I mean, now. Yeah, well, it's a busy time of year. Damn right. Well, like, he needs me hassling him. We've always got going on. How much does he have going on exactly? What? You know what he did for Todd? Put Todd on the fucking map. <laughs> Todd's got it good, no doubt. It was a while ago, though. What? The whole Todd thing. It was a while ago. So what? It happened to was here one day, and all of a sudden he's fucking there. We'll be lucky if he takes my call, for God's sake. You said that wouldn't be a problem. It won't. It won't. Later. I'll call him later. I really do feel I think it is absolutely worth noting. I know, and it is something you really need to say. I oh, am always a little bit afraid to look at you dead on, because I am certain that you are going to say something that is going to completely undercut what I am feeling. I think that that's fair. And this is the last time it would happen. I deserve that. And after what happened to the dogs, I, that I deserve that. Everything is in storage. You just have to let me know where you want it to go. I look at you and I see today. Where is this going? Today is leaving me, though I know I loved you. Oh, girl, Jesus. It's true. And tomorrow readies itself for me, though we have yet to meet. And there is comfort in that? There is comfort in that. And I'm glad I have it. I would rather have my dog back. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence. That's something. 
We had a farm in Somerville. Hell yeah, Fraser Farm in Somerville. Hell yeah, best cheese in the state, Fraser's French cheeses. French? <laughs> Wait, how do you spell Fraser? Well, F R A Z I E R. F R A S E R, Scottish. <laughs> oh. Well, we could still doubt it. <laughs> Fraser party four. <laughs> Why are you always avoiding me? 
I'm always so nice to you. I'm always getting your things and carrying your packages. You're the doorman! Oh, so it's a class thing! <laughs> Wait! What? I have your dry cleaning. <laughs> Yourself, don't you? Well, yeah, because Brian Daniels and his clothes have been calling me trailer trash every day for the last three years. And I know anyone on the bully list can't be on a sports team. And I know Brian Daniels is the best quarterback this school has had in years. Look, if I don't see it, I can't do anything about it. We can't allow punching in this school. <coughs> Sorry, Jonathan. So what did you do 
last night? Well, I had sex. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> I was using a metaphor. No, no, no. You can't use sex as a metaphor for sex. You have to say something like, we played hide the salami, if you know what I mean. She's a vegetarian. Do <laughs> that again, or I'm jam this fork in your eye. All right, all right. I just said, we went back to my place and had sex, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm looking for the 
occupy protests in my own home. This is it. I'm Jason. You must have seen my tweets. Can I take a picture? Where's <laughs> <laughs> your sign? Oh, I have a marker, uh, but I didn't have enough money for poster board. I'm garnering online influence for the cause. Wait, 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 wait. you have enough money for a cell plan and not sign materials? <laughs> how, are, how are people supposed to know what you're seeing if you're not on sign? Well, I tweet every ten minutes. Mm, it doesn't get people's attention. How did you find out about my protest? A friend forwarded it to me on Facebook. Uh, my outreach reached you. <laughs> yeah, but you don't have a sign. I will if you stay. I got other things to take care of. It's got to start somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> 
this relationship. This is the most beautiful relationship I have ever had. Uh, really? <laughs> I'm falling. <laughs> Will you marry me someday? No. I know that for a <laughs> I'd leave, but you drove. <laughs> <laughs> it's you. Do I know you? We met last month at a writer's conference. You are such an inspiration on my work. And this is what you're doing with yourself now? You're, you're begging for money on the street? <laughs> I actually find this very inspiring. I mean, I'm meeting all of these new people and learning these inspirational stories. Yeah, you I, should be writing. No, I know. You're right, but... You know how hard it is to pay rent, and also my computer has been in the hospital, so it's been... Well, they have these things yeah. called pens. <laughs> Thank you for stopping. <laughs> oh, she thinks I'm in Jersey. She thinks that I completely forgot about our anniversary. She's going to be so surprised. Oh, yeah, we have to just make sure you get her reaction. Got it? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Great! Oh, I got it, man. Don't oh. worry. Okay, my life's about to change in an instant. Make sure you get it. <laughs> <Wait>. ah. <laughs> Took you long enough to been waiting for Hey, babe! Someone takes a picture of it and puts it on a website. I hope this house 
burns down with you inside it. I killed the cat and put it in the stuffing! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 
cancer. I'm not completely certain how this works. You drew the short straw. It's the rules. Yes, it's the rules. We bigger than all that, right? Rules. I can say no if I want to. I don't remember what no felt like. Oh, it's so nice for him. No. Yes. It feels so weird in my mouth. Perfect and round. Like an eye little word, slightly misspelled, spat out in a foreign language. I'm sorry. Oh, apologies. But in the same place, we're keeping no. Please. What? I hope you don't take this personally, but... When all of this is done, I never want to see either of you again. <laughs> they always say that. They always do. What? I did. Deep breaths now. Here we are. Rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you are. <laughs> There's nothing we can do about that. 
we're all dying. <coughs> all of us. All the time. But I only die once. Yes, and very soon. I'm sorry. I have another patient. Doctor, <coughs> can't you just shoot me? I don't have insurance. <laughs> I see. The bullet bursting out of the Do what you have to do. Doctor? What? I say that I am not the only 